I also quickly need to thank Miss Play for sponsoring today's video, but I will talk more about them later on. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tina, I'm a DIYer, and last week you guys saw me make over this tiny little corner. And this week I'm giving another small space a big makeover because right now it is a huge mess. It's the end of the year and I wanna start 2024 off with a clutter-free home. I feel like the end or the beginning of the year is when most people start to look at their homes and start organizing and decluttering. And living in an apartment closet has just become an afterthought because you kind of just have to work with what's already there. I have limited space to work with, but I know that we can give it an upgrade and I'm gonna share with you some of the best organization tips. If you've been around in this channel for a while, you've seen me do many different closets, but this one seems to be a big challenge to me because I cannot demo anything. I can't completely rip everything out and customize it, but I do have some solutions that are pretty easy to do and are also renter friendly. So if you're also renting or cannot make permanent changes to a closet, this video is for you. So step number one is to assess the area and define its function. So this is our front entryway closet. It's a little bit of a mess right now. I kind of just threw stuff in here. So there's jackets, cleaning supplies, also some gym equipment and electronics and just miscellaneous items. It's a pretty small area and I need it to be multifunctional because aside from our kitchen, we really don't have much closed storage at all. So for me, this has to be a coat closet, a cleaning closet, a gym closet, and also a miscellaneous slash electronics closet. I know that is a tall order and the best way to deal with it is to compartmentalize it. So I'm going to section this off to serve its different purposes and one of my best tips is to take a photo of it and then draw clear lines of where and what you want to fit in each section. Step number two is to empty everything out so that you can actually visualize how much space you have. It's gonna get a lot messier before it gets cleaner, but it's gonna be so worth it. What is even in here? Does anyone else just keep a bunch of packing materials? just in case. I have old mailers and a lot of bubble wrap, and honestly, I probably won't need it, but just in case. One of the best things you can buy for organization is a cube organizer. These can be found anywhere these days. If you're looking for something larger, I definitely would recommend the Ikea Calyx one. That one is amazing and I've actually hacked it before so it looks a little bit less like Ikea furniture. For this closet, I needed something a lot smaller so I found this at Target for only $33, which is such a steal. These are an essential in any home. I love how minimal it is and it also just hides everything away into nice little bins. You know how when you first move into a space, you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. I have so much room to put all of my stuff in. And then after a couple of months, you're like, okay, where did all that room go? Because I'm running out of space. That's how I've been feeling lately because I swear when we moved, we just had the essentials with us. And now that we're more settled in, it's coming to that point where organization is just more important than ever. I'm sure a lot of you can relate, especially now that the year is winding down. You want to be able to relax without the stress of a cluttered home. And it really just starts with one closet at a time. A really big motivator for me when it comes to keeping a space clean is if it's cute, I'm not going to want to mess it up. And when it comes to closets, they can get pretty messy pretty quickly because you could just shut the door and hide all of the mess. But I found that in my experience, if I do a little extra step to make the closet a little bit cuter, I actually want to keep it clean and tidy. And that could be as easy as just painting it or adding a curtain in the back, which I've done before. For this one, I wanted to try a wood slat wall and we're going to use some peel and stick wallpaper which I've seen online before, but I've always been skeptical if this was going to look good in person or not. So I got a couple of options and I kind of want to be the guinea pig and test it out for you guys. I got three different options because I honestly have trust issues when it comes to picking stuff out online. You never know what you're going to get. And already I'm seeing such a difference from what I saw online. This is the first one that I ordered and it had a lot of good reviews. 
but the slats on this are a little bit too big for the closet. I feel like scale wise, it just wouldn't look right in there. And just from feeling it, there is a little bit of texture, but honestly, this color is not my favorite. Online it looked a lot warmer, but in person it looks very gray. So I don't think this one's the winner. Then we have these two, which have smaller slats on them. I feel like this one looks more realistic because it looks like the gaps actually have some depth to them. Whereas this kind of looks like a line with a gradient on it. I think I'm probably going to go with this one. Let's open her up and see though. Okay, this actually does not look bad at all. There is a little bit of texture, but it's pretty flat overall. And you know how they have some wallpapers that are embossed? They need to start doing that with this because then it will look really realistic. If you're not like looking at it super, super close, I think it looks pretty realistic. And this is also such an affordable option compared to doing a real slat wall. So let's try this out and get it up on the walls. Time for a little midday tea break. There's something so refreshing about having tea in the middle of the day. My throat is getting very scratchy, so I definitely need this. I'm also gonna try and beat this level because I've been stuck on it since last night. I actually recently found out that while I'm playing games on my phone, I can start earning rewards from it. Miss Play is so kindly sponsoring today's video and I am very excited to share it with you guys because it's a concept that I haven't seen before. So if you haven't heard of Miss Play, it is a loyalty app for mobile gamers and you basically can earn rewards as you play and discover new games. So how it works is you basically download download Misplay and choose from their huge list of games. I personally love puzzle games, but they also have word and mystery and adventure games. And while you play, you're actually racking up points and you can actually redeem those points for gift cards. There's so many brands that you could choose from. So right off the top of the list, there's Amazon, Walmart, also Target, which I think that's where I'm going to redeem my card. There's also Spotify and Sephora and H&M, so there's a huge list, and they make it really easy because you can do everything within the app. So if you're looking for a new game to play, I definitely would recommend Triple Tile. Me and Brian are obsessed right now. It's to the point where we're taking turns playing, and I basically watch him, and then he watches me because it's fun to kind of work together and strategize. This is one of those games where you really have to think hard before you make your next move, so I would definitely recommend that to you guys. If you want to check out Misplay and start getting rewards you can use my link below to get 200 bonus points and if you use my code tinalay50 within the app that will also get you another 50 bonus points that will help towards redeeming your first gift card so i'll have all that info below so you guys can check it out i'm gonna start on this side i'm gonna line it up in the corner and then cut off the top that way i know it's straight at least i hope it's straight Okay, it is the next day now. I actually had to order some more wallpaper, so it just got here. But yesterday, that only took me 30 minutes to do the whole thing. So that is pretty quick, and I feel like it does look pretty realistic from far away, but I definitely wouldn't recommend it if you guys are super picky. I will say that this specific wallpaper is pretty thin, so I know it's gonna be easy to remove once I have to. And I would say it's pretty realistic from far away, but if you're planning on putting this in a spot that is meant to be kind of a statement, then in that case, I definitely would say to do the real thing otherwise this is a pretty good solution if you're not too picky with it so i'm going to finish the top section and we're also going to work on a diy for the top shelf to maximize the space okay we're going to need some scrap wood So I can't customize everything in this closet, but there is one thing that I can make that is completely customizable, and that is a shelf riser. These are really great for maximizing vertical space, especially all of that dead space that is on the top shelf. You really can't put anything up there unless you're like stacking a bunch of items. So instead, we're gonna make a shelf riser, which essentially is gonna give you another shelf. This is a really great opportunity to use all of your scrap wood. So that's what I'm gonna use for this project. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make. DIYing a shelf riser is actually cheap 
cheaper than buying one that might not even fit your space and you can make this as long and as tall as you need them to be. I did this with my small pantry at my previous place and it honestly made a world of a difference. You just need three pieces of wood or MDF, one for the top and two for the legs. I'm cutting this to size with my miter saw, but you could also go in stores and just get your local hardware store to cut it for you. And all you have to do is assemble it yourself. I used a countersink drill bit so that the screws will sit below the surface. And I also chose not to fill up the holes just so that I can take these apart in the future. This is one of the easiest updates you can make to a closet. And I fully plan on making shelf risers wherever I can in my house. I never understood how helpful they really are until I made my own because you could put them in closets, pantries, kitchen cupboards, and you are essentially doubling your space without having to spend a ton of money to do so. Today is the day we are going to get everything into that closet and organize it all. We actually have so much more room in there now that I can actually clear out this room. I'm actually pretty embarrassed to show you guys this, but this is the spare bedroom. We still have boxes that are unpacked. So now that I have room in this closet, I'm going to actually fill it up with all of these items. Well, not all of these items because there's actually a lot in here, but there are office supply things, some extra hats and things that I know will fit into the closet. So I'm going to sort everything out and we're going to put everything into place. So if you haven't figured it out by now, the name of the game is to utilize all of your vertical space. And something I always have an issue with is brooms and vacuum sticks. If you just leave them on the floor, they're just gonna flop all over the place. So I usually like to use command hooks for this. So they have these ones, which are great for popping these sticks in and out. But the issue is these are actually too small to work with what I have. So instead, I'm just gonna add a piece of twine to it. And then I'm gonna use a regular hook to hang it up. This is probably the best solution that I could come up with right now. Hopefully Command will come out with another version of this, but I honestly love all of their products. I always keep a ton on hand just in case I wanna hang something up, especially as a renter. These are kind of the best option for damage-free hanging. so much better you guys one of the biggest lessons that i learned this year is that lighting is everything and it's not just to set a mood but it's also really important functionally especially when it comes to dark little closets like this if you can't see anything you won't be able to keep anything clean and organized motion sensor lights have been my best friend these are one of my favorite discoveries of this year and i cannot recommend them enough there are different modes that you can put it on and i'm going to do auto so that it turns on when there is motion you can just tell how bright this is and these also last a really long time so you really don't have to charge them that often. I'm really lazy when it comes to that stuff so this is a great find. And it's also really easy to install so it comes with these little magnetic parts that you attach to the wall or the ceiling. You just stick it on and that way it's easy for you to just take this out whenever you do need to recharge it. And I like to install it while it's on to the actual light so you know exactly where the magnet is. Gonna leave the motion sensor on this side and then place it right onto the wall. Press it down and then you could take this off and then hold this up so that it's really stuck on there. And if you're renting and you need to remove this, I would definitely suggest using a hair dryer so that the glue kind of breaks down and that it's easier to remove. I've yet to remove these before, so when I do move out, I will show you guys that process and see if it does any damage. But hopefully it doesn't. Okay, put it on auto, clip it up. And now there's so much more light. Oh, this is looking super cute. Oh, the worst part is trying to fit this in here. Oh, how am I gonna do this? I should have thought this through. I took off one of the legs, so I think this should be better. Okay, we could screw it back together. <laughs> Ta-da! I panicked for a second. 
Another great option for utilizing vertical space is getting a hanging organizer. So there are so many different ones that they make nowadays. I just ordered this one, which fits over the rods, but it's actually too big for this closet because I won't be able to fit coats in here. But I wanted to show it to you guys anyways, because it is such a good solution for hanging stuff. It also comes with these dividers, which you could put anywhere along the grid, which I think is amazing. And it also came with little S hooks so that you can hang stuff on the side here as well. So I really like this option. I'm actually going to keep it and put it in our upstairs closet. For me personally, I love open baskets like this because it's easy to grab and go. So I will have this linked below for you guys, but I'm going to use it upstairs. I also got an over the door hanger and they make these in so many different styles. I just like this one because it's more boxy, it's easy to grab in and out, and I like that there are clear little windows so you can see exactly what is in them. The back of a door gives you so much more space to work with, and it's great because it doesn't take up any more space. breath of fresh air. Everything is so organized. I cleared out a whole junk drawer in the kitchen and I still have so much room to grow. This is actually motivating me to actually do the big mess that is upstairs in that bedroom that I showed you guys. So that is definitely going to be my next big project and I hope I gave you some good tips. So if you guys have a weekend to spare or maybe you're on holiday break right now, this is the perfect time to do a project like this. Let me know your thoughts on this closet as well as your thoughts on the slat wall. I think it actually looks pretty good now that everything is in place. I'm just so pleased that this is another thing that has crossed off of my list for this year, but there's still so much more to do. So if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on future videos. I hope you're all having a wonderful holiday season. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting this whole year. If you want to see more from me, make sure to follow me over on Instagram. I post on there every single day and that is it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay inspired and I will see you in the next one. Bye.